If you recall, we learned how to make the graph for an equation. For example, for this equation, y equals to 1.5 times x plus 1. And if we need to sketch the graph for it, we learned the point plotting method. We will construct a table. We will pick several values for x. And we will calculate the corresponding y values using this equation. And these ordered pairs of numbers become the coordinates for the solution points. And then on the coordinate system, we will first plot the points and then use a straight line or a smooth curve to connect these points. And this is the graph of the equation. But now, if this equation represents a function fx and we need to graph the function, we can follow the same point plotting method and come up with a graph that looks exactly the same as the previous one. But now, this represents the graph of the function fx equals to 1.5x plus 1. And every single point on it is a solution point to this function with coordinates x, fx. The x coordinate is the independent variable. And the y coordinate is the function value evaluated at this specific independent variable. And the graph of the function is the collection of all the solution points x, fx. For example, for this point with coordinates 2, 4, it indicates that the function value evaluated at x equals to 2 equals to 4. So at this point, you might be wondering, are equation and function the same thing? They are not the same thing. Although functions can be represented by equations, functions have their own special meanings. And I suggest that you study the definition of function again, because to understand what a function is is very important in this class. But hopefully, this following example could help you. For example, here you see several letters. And you can make different words using letters. But when combined in a special way, they make the word Michael. And you know that Michael is a very common name. So although names are made up with letters, they are not the same. To graph a piecewise function like this one, which is described by three different equations, we simply need to graph each equation according to its specified x interval. So we start with graphing the first equation, 0.2x squared. And we graph it for the interval from 0 to 10. Here at the origin, we put a field circle because x equals to 0 is included, but x equals to 10 is not included. However, as we continue on with the second equation, the second equation starts with x equals to 10. And According to the equation, fx equals to 2 times 10 equals to 20. Therefore, this point is included after all. So we continue with graphing the second equation from x equals to 10 to x equals to 20. x equals to 20 is not included. And then we graph the third equation, which is a constant 50, starts from x equals to 20 and ends at x equals to 30, but x equals to 30 is not included. And this completes the graph for this piecewise function. Sometimes you are given a function represented by a graph, but with no explicit equation, like this one. Although you don't know the equation, therefore you cannot calculate how the two variables are related to each other, every single point on this graph still represents a solution point to this function. Therefore, this solution point tells you the function value as evaluated at a specific independent variable x. For example, here, this point has coordinates 4, 4, which indicates that the function value evaluated at x equals to 4 is 4. Here, this point has coordinates 5, 0, which tells you that the function value at x equals to 5 is 0.
If you remember this slide, when we were introducing the function, we mentioned that the most important characteristic of a function is that an independent variable value is matched with exactly one dependent variable value. It cannot be matched with more than one dependent variable value. Therefore, we can use a vertical line test to test if the graph represents a function or not, which means that we should be able to sketch a vertical line anywhere on this graph, and this line should intercept with the graph at most once. Keep in mind that it could be that this line doesn't intercept with the graph at all because the function might not be defined for all real number, which means that the domain of the function might not be all real number. Therefore, for the graph of this circle that we already learned about, if we draw a vertical line here, it intercepts with the circle twice, which means that at a given x value, there are two corresponding y value. Therefore, according to the vertical line test, this is not a function. Here is another example. For this graph, again, if we draw a vertical line here, then this line intercepts with this graph twice. Again, that indicates for one given independent variable value, there are two corresponding dependent variable value. Therefore, this is not a function either.